All right, this week we get to start a brand new reading unit. This reading unit is gonna be super fun because we're no longer gonna be looking at stories. Instead, we're gonna be looking at informational texts. That means we're gonna be looking at different books, different passages that teach us about a topic. We're gonna to be learning information about different cool topics. Now, today we're gonna to continue using our question words to help us answer questions. You also might get to ask some questions. Now, I know good readers always ask and answer questions to learn more. Usually, our last unit, we were learning about stories. Today, we're gonna to get to learn more about a topic that we're reading about. Today, we're gonna to be reading the informational book, City Animals. This book is gonna teach us about different animals that oftentimes live in the city. This book is written by Elizabeth Austin. City Animals, written by Elizabeth Austin. Many people live in cities. Many kinds of animals live in cities too. As we're reading today, make sure that you're really paying attention to your pictures because when I ask you questions, I remember good readers always look back in the pictures and look back in the words to find their answers. We're gonna read the full book first and then I'm gonna ask some questions. Mice live in cities. They eat food people throw away. Geese and ducks live in cities. They swim in ponds and parks. Squirrels live in cities. Squirrels make nests in trees. Pigeons live in cities. Some people like to feed pigeons. Possums live in cities. They like to come out at night. Hawks live in cities. They make nests on tall buildings. Dogs live in cities. People bring them to the park. Raccoons live in cities. They take food from rubbish bins. That means a trash can or a garbage can. Do you see animals where you live? What kind of animals do you see? I'm gonna let you answer the question that the book asked us really quick. It says, do you see animals where you live? What kind of animals do you see? You can answer out loud. You can tell a family member, or you can just answer out loud. What kind of animals do you see? Ooh, you might, when you were sharing animals that you see, you might have been making some connections. You might have said some of the same book animals that it said in the book. You might have said you see squirrels where you live. You might have said you also see ducks and geese. Or you could have thought of some different animals that weren't in the book. You could have said maybe you see cats. Maybe you've seen different birds. So you could have said some of the same animals or different. The end. Now, we're going to look back in our book to answer some questions. I'm going to be asking questions. We're going to look up here to see what kind of question it is, and then we're going to use our book. We're going to use our pictures and our words. The first question I want to know is, I remember our book told us that ducks and geese live in cities, but I want to know where do they swim? Because I know a lot of times they swim, but I don't remember where in the book did it say that ducks and geese swim 
in the city. I know we don't have really big lakes in the city. We really don't have oceans, anything like that. So I want you to think back. I'm gonna show you the page for ducks and geese. All right, let's look. I know first we're gonna look in the picture. I see they're in some kind of water. It looks like it might be dark, kind of like a lake, maybe a little smaller. I see some rocks. Let's look at the words. They swim in ponds in parks. Oh, geese swim in ponds in our parks at the city. My next question is, where do squirrels make their nests? I heard them tell us about a couple different nests, a couple different places. Let me go to the squirrel page. You're gonna use your picture and your words to solve. Well, looking at the picture, I see the squirrel is sitting on a tree. Hmm, so maybe in the trees, but let's just double check by looking at the words. If we look at the words, I see squirrels live in cities. We know that. Squirrels make nests in trees. Oh, so my where, my answer is squirrels make nests in trees. All right, my next question is, I remember this story telling me about pigeons. I don't remember what a pigeon is. I want to know what, what is a pigeon? Well, looking at this um, page, you can look in the picture. I see a bunch of little birds. So I'm thinking that pigeons must be birds. That's the only animal I see. Let's see, it says pigeons live in cities. Some people like to feed pigeons. I see these people right here, they're feeding the birds. So a pigeon must be a bird. If you said bird, kiss your brain. Now, my last question. I know we talked about squirrels make nests in trees. Where did they tell us hawks make nests? Where did they tell us that hawks make their nests? Looking back at this page, I bet first you looked at the picture. You see a hawk. It looks like it's sitting outside, maybe on top of something. I see some buildings. Hmm, let's look at the words. Hawks live in cities. They make nests on tall buildings. Oh, hawks make nests on tall buildings. That is all of the questions that we're gonna work on answering today. Now, while you're reading at home, either informational text, you might be reading stories, whatever type of book you are reading, I want you to continue working on asking questions while you're reading and also answering them.